guys for one week and one week only you can get eight percent off all coins all merchandise from footflash.com use my discount code qkn8 for eight percent off all your purchases and yeah enjoy the video no what are you waiting for do it just do it! We'll go on forever Like the phoenix we We'll rise up from the ashes This world is ours tonight We'll go on forever Like the phoenix we We'll What is going on boys? It is me Quenkin and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Road to Glory career mode and hopefully you guys have been enjoying it and today we're actually going to have a face cam and a live commentary. Hopefully you guys do go on uh, to enjoy these career modes with the face cam but we're going to take a look at how we did last month and we actually did pretty good. We got four wins one draw and one loss uh, last month of September. We did get knocked out of the Capital One Cup, which really sucked, and then we drew in the league, but then we went on to win our next four games, which is really good, and hopefully we can do better than that this month. We do have five league games and one uh, game in the J Paint Trophy, uh, which isn't that important, so we are gonna get into this first game of the league, and it's gonna be versus this side it's gonna be versus Carlos C I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure but this is how the league table is looking we are in second place at the moment with 21 points so we need to get this win uh, versus Carlos C so I did make a change in the squad we did put McCartan as a striker the only reason I put him is because Strandberg was a little tired so McCartan is the striker uh, for today's game so Wakambu get on the mark they center it in great job from Briseño to get the header on it oh Connolly wins it he came in for Julian Beagle, who's injured, but McCartan's on and out. And let's keep possession because the counterattacks haven't been working that much. So we're just going to keep the possession. Get on the mark, Kone. He, he, look at him. He, he does not know how to defend. Come on, Kone. Okay, there. He finally did something, but he loses it. Whoa, my God. That was a close opportunity. First shot of the game. And it came off Briseño for a corner kick. So we go to halftime and I do not like the way we've been playing. So I switched it to a 4-2-3-1. Deerson's a cam and we have Don't Stop playing as a CDM. But hopefully this formation change can help us out in the second half. Oh, there's a shot and it goes in. You have to be kidding me. We are down 1-0. And it was it's well deserved because we have created no chances. And Carlos Lee goes up 1-0. Beautiful ball from Strandberg to Fangundes. He's on the wing. We center it in and they take it out. And it looks like we are going to be losing this game. There are only six minutes left. And what the hell was that, Anderson? What is going on with our team? That is what I want to know. What the hell is going on? We've been playing so bad. All right, Dirk is on it. He has a pace. He has a pace. The defense is too slow. Come on, pass it off to Strandberg. And there's a shot. And Strandberg, at least he tried. That is our first shot, and it came in the 89th minute, so I'm not I'm not mad at him. So we lose 1-0 versus Carlos Lee United, and it's not the start we wanted. And overall, it was just a very bad game. We had two shots, one on target. Carlos Lee had four shots, one on target. They completely dominated us, and they do win the game 1-0. They had four shots, one on target. We had two shots, one on target. And overall, it was just a very bad game. So for the second game of today's episode, we did submit, it was versus Yeovil Town, and we actually beat him 1-0, Little scored the only goal of the game, Fagundes came out with a yellow card, but I did switch up the squad, and we actually did pretty good, we beat Yeovil Town 1-0, and we continue on in the J-Paint Trophy. So now we're going to be facing Newport County in the league, and after losing that previous game, we really need to get the three points. I did modify our formation to a 4-3-3, so we have two center mids and one center attacking mid. So hopefully we can attack more, and we really need to win this game. Come on, Anderson, don't let him score. Don't let him score, please. Great job from Anderson to get in the way, and we take it out, but they're already attacking us so freaking hard. There we go, Dearson, back to Dirk. Turdirk is on the ball, he keeps going, Turdirk is in, he centers it into Strandberg, and that is the goal we needed, 31st minute, and he is onside, yes, 
one nil, two Dirk with the assist, and these two combine once again to give us the lead. Oh yeah, I see that play. I see it. Don't sell with Strandberg. We pass it back. We win it somehow. Strandberg's all by himself. And is that onside? Yes, it is. And that somehow went into the back of the net. I was trying to pass it to Donsa, but it reflected. We pass it back to Strandberg, and he makes his second goal of the game. Oh, great job from Connolly. We have the ball with Fangundes. Yes, Donsa's on it. Back to Connolly. Turtir. He's in. He's in in space, and yes, that is freaking beautiful. Oh my god, this is absolute beauty. The beautiful play, and then Turtir, he just slots it into the back of the net, and he makes it 3-0, so we are for sure getting the three points. So we are gonna make some substitutions. We are gonna put in Joyce, Proctor, and McCartan. We're gonna take out the likes of Strandberg. Uh, we're also gonna take out Connolly, and we are also gonna take out Donsa. So we're gonna put in fresh new legs, and hopefully we can keep this clean sheet. So we win 3-0 and we get the three points that we really needed. And Carlos Strandberg, he got the best match rating with a 8.5. He scored two goals and he overall played pretty decent in today's game. But now let's get into the last game versus Cambridge United. So before we get into the last game of today's episode, we are in second place with 24 points. Shrewsbury is in first with 28 points. And Cambridge United, the next team we're going to face is in 20th place with 10 points so they're not doing too well uh, so those should be three easy points uh, to pick up but chadwick is on the ball he's in the midfield he's playing around with it he wants to see if there's any runs and there is but anderson cuts it off and this is where we go on the counter attack so now strandberg is on it did passes his fullback he keeps going strandberg's calling for it but we're, we want him to get into the box so we're gonna pass it right there but oh my god yes how did that go in Tim Dearson somehow managed to put a foot in there and in the 15th minute we score to make it 1-0. I thought the goalie was going to get to that and Dearson came out of nowhere and that is why I love him playing as a cam because he goes in as a striker and he does the job that Strandberg had to do himself and we are now winning 1-0. Now it's slow on the ball, the striker's on it, they only have one player in the box but Anderson does a bad tackle and they tie the game 1-1 and... That is well deserved because our defense was all over the place. Anderson with a bad tackle and our players are really small so that header went in very easily. Connolly's on it. Pass it back to Strandberg. That's a good ball. Strandberg with the left foot. Oh my god. 51st minute. That was a good play there. Connolly could have gotten an assist but Strandberg decided to shoot it wide. So it is time for substitutions. We're going to put in Luke Joyce, Michael Little, and we're going to take out uh, Kone, and we're also going to take out Connolly. So we're going to take out the lower rated players in our team and put in some better players. We need fresh legs, and hopefully that can help us out. Oh, yes, Dirk. Yes, yes, Dirk. Oh, my God. That's a penalty. Yes, just when we needed it. Tour did took three players and he went on to get a penalty for us. We need to score this in. So we're going to go to the left. Let's go to the left. One, two, three, to the left. And yes, Tour did gives us a lead. And this is actually what we needed because it would have been very disappointing if we would have drawn versus a 20th place team. So this is a very good goal. And Tour did so far. His season has been spectacular. He's been scoring so many damn penalties and giving off assists also. So I'm very happy that he's in our team. Come on, get that out. Great job. Now we just have to sit back now and go on a counter. So that is what we're going to do. A great ball to Strandberg. He wins it. And now Fangundes is calling for it. So we can potentially get the third goal of this game. And we're going to pass it off to Dirk. Dirk, oh, he gets taken down again. I was a, oh my god I was just trying to pass the ball and they freaking fall another player in there so it, this could be potentially the third goal of the game we're gonna go to the left once again so here we go Turdid goes to the left there's a penalty and the goalkeeper just stays in the middle and that is his second goal of the game and this completely finishes the game and uh, we're winning the game 3-1 so yes we end off the episode with a win and that is a very good win. Tour de Deed scoring two goals and creating one assist. And we win the game 3-1 versus Cambridge United.
Now, after that win, that puts us two points away from Shrewsbury, who are in first place. And now Portsmouth made it up to third place with 25 points. So, we cemented our place in the top three, which is awesome. And this was overall a pretty, pretty good game uh, versus Cambridge United. But a player that I'm very impressed with is Turdir. This kid has been very freaking insane. Let's see his stats for this season. He has seven goals and six assists this season that that is just insane guys you guys have to admit that he's been a very productive player and this is how the top scores are looking Dirk is actually in 11th place with six goals and he's four goals away from Collins who is the top goal scorer and for assists Dirk is actually the top assister so that is freaking awesome he's been freaking awesome on the wing this year and when we needed him he's been playing really well and for clean sheets we do have Mitryushkin in 10th place with four clean sheets but he is actually tied for first place so I'm very happy with our squad and hopefully this form can continue on we started off the episode very shaky with the loss but we ended it with the win and we're still in second place so if you guys did go on to enjoy today's episode please slap a big old like down below and leave a comment also and subscribe if you are new and you enjoy this career mode uh, but yeah that is pretty much it i'm quinkin and i'll see you guys next time